Welcome to Shape of the City. I'm Clover Frederick and I'll be your host. January is a time to make resolutions, try new things, and look forward to a brand new year. For some of us, we set a goal of healthier living, including more exercise. Dave Mnarek, the Executive Director of the Nebraska Sports Council, is here to tell us about some local events and challenges that will help get us on the right track to starting to be more active. Thank you for joining us today, Dave. How are you? I'm great, thank you. Good. Now, so tell us what is Nebraska Sports Council? What's its mission? The Nebraska Sports Council is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. Our mission is to promote healthy and active lifestyles, and we do that mainly through providing quality competition for Nebraskans of all ages and abilities that motivates them to better health and, and active lifestyles. Okay, now tell us about the Live Well Challenge. The Live Well Challenge is a, an event-centric challenge. So the way it works is people sign up and it doesn't cost anything to sign up, uh, but they participate in events uh, throughout the year and, and we reward them for that. So. If they do four events that qualify, we give them a medal, and seven is a silver medal, and 10 is a gold medal, 10 or more. And the point is, as we've seen over the years with the Cornhusker State Games, our mud run, our pumpkin run, that oftentimes participating in, event, in an event is a great catalyst for people to adopt more active lifestyles. So the idea of tracking these events and having people participate throughout the year, we believe will lead to uh, folks adopting uh, a healthier lifestyle. Good, now what would you say to our viewers who are say a bit out of shape and considering this challenge? Well, I would say to check our website, it's livewellchallenge.com and read about Chris Huey. Uh, Chris is a, a worker at the Omaha YMCA, but herself, she was not in great physical shape. Um, she entered her first event about 14 months ago, and in the time between then and now she's done seven or eight events, she's lost 120 pounds. Wow. So it takes, a, it takes a first step, uh, and a lot of times that's putting that event on your calendar, and then you can begin from there. Back it up if it takes three, four months before you're confident that you can walk five kilometers, whatever that is, uh, put it on your calendar, put the money into the entry for the event and go for it. You, you, you'll, you'll be surprised at how good you feel, the sense of accomplishment that, that could start you on a road toward uh, a lifetime of better, better health and active living. Great, now what are some of the key events that happen throughout the year? Well, if you look around our community uh, and around the state, there are a lot of great events. The, the Cornhusker State Games, of course, um, our event offers a lot of really good healthy and active options in there. We also have our own mud run and pumpkin run, I mentioned those, but Lincoln Track Club is a great place to go look for events. And now there's Pink Gorilla events, uh, especially the past five to ten years. They've, they've developed some great events, a lot of fun for folks. The Omaha Running Club uh, has a full calendar of events as well, and those are kind of the featured events on our Live Well Challenge calendar. Now what does it take to put on an event like this? Well, if you're talking about the Cornhusker State Games, it takes a lot of help. Uh, and what I'm talking about mainly is volunteers and sponsors. So when we start planning our event for the year, it really comes down to having a whole lot of committees. And almost all of our 60 plus sports are run by committee. So we have to find the right people in leadership positions for those uh, committees and then give them what they need to succeed, which is you know, from our standpoint, we do a lot of marketing. Uh, we help them recruit additional volunteers that can be their foot soldiers at the events. And then, of course, the business community pitches in and, and uh, provides funding support for our operations so that we can help these leaders plan throughout the year. And in the end, the, the third weekend in July is typically, uh, it's very well run. And we're blessed to have a lot of folks that have come back year after year after year and so when you don't have to put the whole puzzle together every year, it really is a lot easier to make, make it happen. Mm -hmm. Now on a personal level, what do you get out of seeing these events come together? Uh, well, I'm an entertainer at heart, I suppose <laughs> you'd say. Nothing makes me happier than seeing people laughing and smiling. And, uh, you know, 
when it's part of something that helps people helps people be happy and and feel a sense of accomplishment and a sense of belonging there's there's such a social aspect to events like the Cornhusker State Games that's that's where I I think I get my personal fulfillment is just seeing other people be happy Great. Now, where can somebody go to learn more information about the Nebraska Sports Council, either an event or how to volunteer, how to sponsor? NebraskaSportsCouncil.com will take you to all of our events programs, the opportunity to volunteer, to donate, to participate as a sponsor. It's all there at NebraskaSportsCouncil.com. All right. Well, thank you very much, and thanks to Nebraska Sports Council for encouraging people to get active. Thank you for having me today. Thank you.